it's Milky, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm really sorry for not uploading in a while. Um, if you follow my Instagram, you'll know that I have been working full time in my new internship, so I've been quite busy and at the end of the day I'm just too tired to do anything except for relax. Um, but I recently ordered a lot of things from Japan, I'm using DJapan as usual, and I asked if you guys would be interested in it because it's not like my traditional haul, it's only about 25% clothing items, the rest is like homeware and other miscellaneous things. Um, the majority of you said yes, so let's get into it. Picked it up from the post office this morning and it's huge and covered in bubble wrap. So I will take off the bubble wrap and then get into it. After like five minutes, I finally got all the bubble wrap off. Um, if you're ever worried about ordering something and it breaking, use DigiPen because they're always super thorough with their packaging. And here's my box. I guess I'll start with the item that's taped on top, which is probably why they use so much bubble wrap. Um, so I ordered a lot of homeware items because it finally hit me that I was probably going to be moving out in like a year or so um, for grad school or whatever it is I do after college. And so I'm like, hey, I can buy myself cute things for my house while I still have, you know, the money to spend it on pointless things. And so the first thing I got myself is a blanket. This isn't like a proper blanket, it's more of a throw that you put on the bed. Um, I also figured it would be nice for warm Floridian nights. Here it is. Yay. I'll definitely need to post a close-up of this on my bed. But, ooh, it feels really nice. It's just this really pretty blanket that's sort of like a gauze-ish material. I don't know. If you've ever felt fancy baby swaddling blankets, this is like it. It's just like a nice thick-ish material and it has pretty little strawberries on. They're not quite embroidered, but they're like in the fabric. It's not just printed on or something like that. And it's so cute. And I think the opposite side is stripey if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's like this. Oh, this is really adorable going to look really cute in my room, I think. I like it a lot. Hopefully it'll be big enough. And now, the main box. Yeah, I also ordered some food items, some books, um, homeware things as I said, and then like four clothing things. All very sorry. I'm excited for them. Alrighty. Woo! So many cute things. Alright. Let's start with the most obscenely cute one, which is this a little Twin Stars Stark cloud carriage toy. Um, I saw Musu, I think that's how you pronounce her username, on Instagram and here on YouTube posting about this. And if you know me, you know I love little Twin Stars. And this thing is just like the most precious thing ever. It's this like star-shaped carriage with little lanterns and a little figurine. And it's a completely pointless thing. It has no purpose. It's a children's toy. But I just liked it too much to not get it. And I think it'll look adorable in my room. And I love it. Next, um, just wondering what order to do this in. Okay. Next, I got these heating eye masks. These are really useful and they're nice at the end of a long day. Um, I'll also be traveling soon and so I think these will be nice to bring along for that because especially when you're switching time zones, as I will be since I'm going to Europe, it can be hard to fall asleep and so I think these will be nice. Next up, I got this Café La Torre set of four instant coffees. Um, there's a coffee, another coffee, caramel macchiato, and a matcha. 
Um, I really like Japanese instant coffees and these seem like they will be really yummy and once again, I'll be traveling, I won't have access to my nice espresso machine and so I'm going to rely on these coffees, especially when in Ukraine because coffee there isn't great. But yeah, it should be yummy. Next up, I got a spatula because I'm a boring adult, but even when I have to buy boring adult things, I buy cute ones. Um, of course, it's Little Twin Stars because if something's available and it's Little Twin Stars, naturally I'll get it. So here's the spatula. I'll post close-ups of it later, but it's just like a nice silicone spatula with Little Twin Stars printed on the um, handle and the bow. It has a hook that you can hang it from. It's really cute! And I'm always baking and I always need spatulas, so I figured why not get a cute one. Next item is a little chopstick and spoon set. Uh, here we go. Uh, you can't really see it in the packaging, so I'll take it out. Um, I bring my own lunch to work and so it's nice to have cute utensils, and so I ordered this. Ah, cinnamon roll and cherries and blue gingham. And then inside there's a chopstick set and a little tiny spoon. This will be nice to bring to work so I don't have to just put forks in my bag. Super cute! Next, I have this really cute needle felting kit. I saw this from a seller on Etsy a while ago, and I've been eyeing it, but it was like $20 on there, and so I found it on Amazon, and I got it, and with it, you make these really cute little sheep, and I'm super excited to make this. I think it's just so cute. Next, I guess I'll do the four fashion items, since they're lying here in front of me, is this straw hat from Ankh Rouge. I've been wanting it ever since it came out, and I was going to wait until the sale to get it, but then I ended up buying it full price, it'll look cute on me. Um, but yeah, it's just like a straw hat with a mauve colored bow on here. I thought it was adorable. I loved how they styled it and I thought it would be perfect for the summertime. And let's see. Well, the brim is a bit bent. Hopefully once that flattens up it'll look a bit more normal. But I think the bow is so cute. Ah, okay. I'll need to experiment with this. It's actually a bit flimsy feeling, which is a bit disappointing, but I'll try to make it work. I'm just annoyed because this is like $50, but let's hope it'll be okay. Next up is a swimsuit from the brand Uniqlo. Um, so if you take a look at the colors of this, it's really not me, but I actually have a big weakness for botanical prints. And so when I saw this, I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to have it. The colors are a lot more vibrant than they were on the stock photos, but that's okay. It's still really cute. And yeah, it's a one piece because I don't like wearing bikinis and it's really cute. This is from the Princess Tam Tam collaboration that they did recently. And I just thought it was adorable. I'm looking forward to wearing this this summer. Sorry if the camera angle changed, I had to empty my memory card on my computer because I was getting to full um, but anyways, next item is also one from Uniqlo. Ooh, it's really cute. And it is this fluffy pink sweater. Um, this is on sale for like $9 and I'm always cold and I thought it would be nice to have something snuggly to wear around the house. And yeah, it's just an adorable, slightly fluffy, pink knitted sweatshirt. It's really cute and it's quite soft too, so I'm going to look forward to wearing this around the house. And lastly, ah, is a pajama set. Um, so I wanted to get this from the Sanrio website, but by the time I got around to ordering it, it had gotten out of stock, and I saw a listing for an item with the exact same name on the Sanrio Amazon website, but it had no pictures, 
So it was a slight gamble, but I'm happy that it's the right item. Um, I've been wanting a more summery pajama set because I like wearing pajamas. And it's this cinema roll set. It's just like short sleeved and with cinema roll and ice creams on it. And I'm definitely going to need to post close ups of it because you can't see the print at all. But it's a button up shirt and shorts. I thought it was really cute, and I'm definitely going to wear this tonight. The next item in here is, let's see, after this I think it's all just books. I forgot to mention, I got a lot of books and magazines and that sort of thing. Um, but these should be my Soy Joy bars. If you follow my personal Instagram, you will know that I love Soy Joy so much. They're these, like, they're these bars that they used to sell here in the US too. But now they don't, but I got them a lot when I was a kid, and so I think of them really fondly all the time. And I'm sad that I can't get them anymore here, and so I ordered a 10-pack of my favorite flavor, which is blueberry sauce. Oh, I did ever get this open. Ah, there we go. Blueberry soy joy. Ah, delicious. Yeah, I'll bring those to work and stuff like that. Alright, next up are some of the copious amount of magazines I ordered. Alright, firstly here, um, this is a new magazine that I haven't read before, it's called Tool. I think it's a like Lolita fashion magazine, yeah, on the back there's a BD BTSSB ad, and yeah, it just seemed cute. This was really cheap, and so I thought I would get it, and it would be fun to look through. Cute magazine, number one. Next, I got the newest issue of Larm. Very cute. I'm really looking forward to reading through this because I love Larm. It's my favorite magazine. And I like it a lot. Ooh, there was like a free clear file with my Shiraishi on it. Cute. Oh, and then this is like... Oh, I guess it's the model's own little lookbook thing that maybe came with the magazine. Also nice. I also ordered two second-hand issues of Larm. They look in like new condition, and one of them was only one yen, so that's nice. Um, this is issue number three, so quite an old one, but I thought it would be fun to look through. And issue number 16, which is also really cute. This is from July 2015, and issue three was... they don't say when it's from. But yeah, I'll have fun looking through these. I like Larm a lot. Last two things in here. First is this crafting book of how to make these little brooches, patches out of needle felt and beads. I thought this is so cute and it would give me something nice to do this summer. It's all really beautiful in here and there are instructions which is nice and hopefully I can make some of these things because they're really cute. And lastly is a postcard coloring book. It's just like so cute. The art in here is absolutely adorable. Oh, okay, that's really cool. It has like the postcard and then the blank image so you can color it yourself and send out maybe the postcard to someone you like. I probably will just hang them in my room because they're really cute. But yeah, that's everything I got. Sorry that it's a bit different from my usual hauls, but I'm really happy with everything I got, aside from the questionable hat, but I'll try to make it work and hopefully it won't be too flimsy and fall apart really quickly. I hope you liked seeing everything. I'm not sure when I'll have a frequent uploading schedule, but I'll try to make a video every now and then. Um, probably once I'm done with this internship, I'll be able to upload more frequently. Yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. Bye!